Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, my baby Scorpions. I hope everybody's doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Yeah, if you like that. Two of them popping out for you right away. Seven and a six of pentacles. So you are working on something. Working, working, working on growing something. Earn success. The Knight of Swords as the challenge. That's recklessly moving forward with something. So we don't have to check that out. Oh, chasing you back to Hermitville. That two came out for that one, so I'm going to take them. All right. Play. You want to play? I'm going roller skating next weekend. <laughs> yeah, at a skating rink that I haven't been to since I was 10 years old. <laughs> Believe it or not. It might be a little reckless. I haven't been skating in a long time, but I'm going to give it a shot. Why not? I mean, you only live once. Okay, so in the past, we have a cancer here. You could have cancer in your chart. But I feel like you got a message from somebody, a surprise message from somebody. Where you're at right now is the Six of Pentacles and the Seven, Pen Seven of Pentacles. So you... You definitely earn your money. You're sharing the wealth. And you're growing something exponentially. Crossing you. Immediate future is the seven of wands. So we have seven, seven so far as a numbers pattern. Very lucky. Factors affecting the situation is that you've waited a long time for this. Brand new beginning, Queen of Wands. Glowing up, showing up. you got a brand new beginning here. It's risky, but I think you're willing to invest the time that it's going to take for you to glow up, show up, and get what you want. Because... Queen of Wands is good looking and they don't take no for an answer. They go after what they want. And the hopes and fears is a choice. And I don't feel like you want to make that choice. I feel like that's more of a fear than a hope. It might be a hope, you know. Maybe you're hoping to choose your own path here. Because at the end of this reading, we got hermit time. It's hermit time and strength. Retreating to the bat cave, Robin. Got Virgo, Leo, Cancer, and Aries on the board so far. And let's see what this twisted tale tells us. What is this chariot and eight of wands in the past? Ace of cups, moon in reverse. Somebody confessed their feelings for you. And I think it made you happy. I think it made you very happy. This person definitely expressed what they felt. The moon in reverse, ace of cups, moon in reverse, the world card, and the hanged man upright. This person is totally smitten with you. They, they are totally stuck on you. They see you as their light. So, they're coming back around. 
Five of Cups in reverse. So I think it's going to make you happy. Not sad. Happy. Let's see what's going on. What are you growing? What is this that you're growing? Your finances, for one. You're definitely growing your finances. Pass. Betrayal. Ten of Cups. You're growing your Ten of Cups. You're growing your wish fulfillment. These past betrayals, you have won. You've won over the past. You've overcome something here. And there's no more waiting. No more waiting. Communication is happening. Page of Wands coming in with the message. You beat something that was very karmic. You beat something that was very painful. And because of that, your Ten of Cups is on its way in. Woohoo! Gotta like that. What is this Knight of Swords about, Spirit? What is this reckless movement forward? To be on your motorcycle riding into the night. All upright for you. Wow, and I shuffled them. No more playing around. Earning what you deserve. Queen of Pentacles, Empress. Healing. Four of Swords. And a death. So, shit. Um, with Seven of Pentacles here twice... This is something you definitely, 777, seven, seven, this is something you definitely earned, you worked for. It was, it was, you know, a lot, a lot of work. Somebody wants to make you their wife or husband. Take it how it resonates. And there's a total transformation happening in your world right now with the death card. There you are, Scorpio, healing what was broken. And now, you're bossing up. You're learning how to manage your money. You're learning how to save and, 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 and not to give it away to people who don't appreciate it. There might be three people here. Two feminine energies. Take it how it resonates. That's Libra and Scorpio. Let's see what... Uh, so you ain't playing with these people no more. Enough... It's like... I kind of put up or shut up. And I think somebody is ready to do that. Because you... you, you overcome that that betrayal you like okay now what seven of swords in the immediate future somebody wants to work with you and I don't think you're going to because they see you as abundant and they feel like you've left them out in the cold. I hate to say it, but I do feel like this person earned it. Yep. There's that emperor in reverse. Not today, bitch. Somebody hasn't moved on from you. They still see you as everything that they want. The Hierophant in reverse tells me a contract's been broken. And that you're very, very happy about that. 
So I feel like it could be a Leo that you're dealing with here, but I feel like you left this person out in the cold, but there's still a closure issue. There's still a moving on with the Six of Swords in reverse. This, this person is like totally stuck on you. Like I said, there could be two. Because of the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. There could be two people that are completely and totally in love with you and stuck on you. That's why you're afraid to make a decision. This could involve a contract but and, and, and breaking another one. And I don't think you're ready for a new commitment just yet because this com this immediate future says that you're you're not ready yet for either one of these people. You're learning how to love yourself again. You're learning how to brighten up your own world after all of this pain. And it's not just pain. It's like it's almost like somebody tried to affect your confidence and they might have succeeded but only for a moment because your challenge here is to stand in your power and tell this person to suck it <laughs> just say it because they ain't got it together they're in reverse you're upright so whoever this person is you're about to tell them to go fly a kite. And that's putting it nicely. Uh, and they're not going to be happy about that. But I got Aries and Taurus here too. Aries, Taurus, and Leo. Pisces. Lots of Pisces. You're just ready to move on to the next phase. That is that is what I feel like with the 777. Yeah. You're ready for the next chapter. Not old chapters, new chapters. You're willing to let something die in order to have a brand new beginning. And I do, I see it coming. But I feel like you're not saying anything to anyone. You're like keeping it on the low low. What is this three of wands about? You don't love this person anymore. You see this person for what they are. And you don't even want to communicate with them. They hurt you. You walked away. You know this person is so not situated that their root chakra is completely out of balance. And that they lied about everything. Queen of Swords in reverse. That's a major, major liar and manipulator. You know that they lied to you. And you're over them. You're over them completely. If you... You're over them, but you're still hurt. I'm not saying that you're not hurt, okay? I don't feel like it, it's either you or this person that is not in love anymore. It, it, it's time to walk away from what no longer serves you in this situation, regardless. What is this brand new beginning for Scorpio in the outside influence? And I think that's what you're concentrating on, honey. I think you're just concentrating on your own manifestations, uh, uh, becoming the empress. That that's your goal, and to end anything that, that you don't want anymore. We have a ace of pentacles in reverse. Like I said, you might be out some money here. Because I feel like maybe this third party broke a contract and took their shit with him.
We have everything in reverse here. Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Star, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So you didn't get what you wanted from this person. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Pisces. You didn't get what you wanted. You pulled yourself away from a three-party situation. That could be two people you're involved with. It doesn't have to be somebody in, that's involved with somebody else, although I do have a wife and a mother here. You've pulled yourself away from all of these people so you can concentrate on this. And, and, and you're being selfish, but that's okay. I mean, it, it feels like you earned this. You earned being selfish. Because a lot of these people, they hurt you. They told you you couldn't do it. They told you you couldn't succeed. I can hear it in my head. I feel like these people left you for dead, Scorpio. That is the outside fluence here. Influence. They left you for dead. They left you and didn't care what happened to you. So now, Pisces says, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna manifest me. Let's see how you like them out. Peaches or pears or bananas. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. I don't do apples. Apples are too hard. Unless I cut them up in little pieces. Uh, two of Swords. What is this Two of Swords about, Spirit? Why? Yeah, this isn't a balanced situation, and you just don't have the strength to go through it again. And that, that, that's what you're fearing, you know? You're not making any moves towards this person. They may have even pr proposed to you, proposed moving in with you, or whatever. And you're still healing. You're still in that Three of Swords energy. Even though this is a new opportunity, I feel like you're still feeling the pain of the last one and you don't feel like you can go through this again. This is a new, new person. There's somebody new in your life. Could be a Sagittarius, got Cancer, Leo, got a little bit of everything. And it's the Hermitage for the final outcome and the strength. I feel like you're finding the inner strength just to... Seven of Swords in reverse. You see it. You see the lies. You see the excuses. You see it all. Even if this person is on the up and up about marrying you. There's something they're not telling you. There's your brand new beginning. Because you shut this liar down. Here comes the Ten of Pen Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn. And the lovers in reverse. This person, whoever they are, could be a Virgo, could be a Leo. I mean, I've got a little bit of everything on the board here, guys. Taurus, Libra, Leo, Pisces, Aries, Cancer. Got a little bit of everything here. But you're not accepting any excuses anymore. And here comes that Ten of Pentacles. Earned legacy money. King of Pentacles. 
Capricorn energy, the devil, codependency, and the lovers in reverse. Somebody's letting go of a codependent lover, and because they let go of that codependent lover and not put up with the, the, the lies, excuses, or anything like that anymore, it's just like they're shutting down. They're coming into their own. They get that brand new beginning. They get that brand new beginning. They're not falling for the tricks anymore. From family or otherwise. 10, 10, 10. This is over. But, like I said, we got a brand new beginning on a brand new beginning here. No more tricks. No more towers. No more being depressed. No more being at a crossroads. You know this person, or, or, or these people, could be more than one, are unbalanced, and you just, you're like, uh, yeah, no. I'm growing my ten of pentacles here. I got, I'm at the seven now. What are you bitches doing? Sitting there still trying to trick me? New person. Definitely got a date coming. I don't know if this is in the now or in the immediate future, but I do feel like there is a King of Pentacles approaching you. Um, not a King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Endings bring new beginnings. So yes, there is a new person on the horizon. Somebody you're going to go out on a date with. But, you know, this person's kind of old-fashioned. So, they got a little bit of outdated thinking. And, you know, they keep playing situations over and over in their head. That could be you not wanting to take a risk again because of past trauma. But this person is going to let you know how much they like you. Just give it time because it may lead to a big, big fat rock from a 10 and a king of pentacles. So this is going to take time. They like you a whole lot. They want to they want to they want to go out with you. They they this person really really wants to go out with you. But I think it's going to take you a little time to get back up again. So you're, you're okay with that, though. You know, and if this person's okay with that, that you want to take time, that you don't want to have sex with them, like jump in bed with them right away, which is what I'm feeling there, that's probably a good idea. Because if they're just in it for the shtick, you know, what's the point? But I don't think this person is. I think they're very serious. I think they're very, very serious about you, and they want to pin you down. They want you to be their significant other. What is it with these? All three readings today have the same first two cards. And I shuffled. What is it with the mature woman and the despair card? There's a whole community here. It looks like somebody lost their job. Despite the high... Uh, oh, oh. So this is somebody else watching you. And... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is the person that knows they... Uh, They know they lost out on a ten, a ten of pentacles and a ten of cups here. This is the person that knows they lost out. Because you're being held in high honor at this time. 
and about to receive some kind of wealth. And now you get to pick what you want. But we've got this man or woman that seriously, seriously wants to date you. And like I said, this ain't no joke. This ain't no this ain't no player. This is a king of pentacles. Possibly a very wealthy family king of pentacles. And they want to love you, Scorpio. It's up to you to make that decision because I can't do it for you. It is new love. But there's been a lot of stuff going on in your world. And and, and it's, it's like I said, it feels like I don't have the strength to keep going. I don't have the strength to do this again. I got one, one, one here. But I think this person is going to show you a different side of this world of love. I, I really do. This, this risky beginning that you're about to take, somebody sees you as an awesome person and very, very attractive, very stable, and they want a chance with you. Give them a chance, Scorpio. I mean, just don't put too much stock into it and take it one day at a time be the queen of my fucking swords if you gotta be you know cut all these other people out of your life that have, have brought you pain I know that's easier said than done especially if they're family but there is somebody new that's trying to come in and once you release this pain, you will be able to love again. And this ain't a player. This is somebody who's very serious about stability, home, family. And love, because we got the lovers here, twice. Lovers in reverse is how you feel. The lovers are upright. Is how they feel and I do feel like they're willing to do anything anything to get you to go out with them the new love not the old love but like I said you're still you're still kind of going through the you know uh, building your castle building your empire I don't think you're ready for that engagement ring just yet it takes time. You got to get to know people. Let's see what the sun's got to say from the shadows. We got Aries. We are not right for each other. Let me say that again. You are neat. We're not right for each other. Taurus, I hope I will see you again soon sometime. You're lucky. Gemini. Yes, it is too late. Gemini twice. Cancer. Sometimes I hear voices. Leo. I pretend that you don't mean that much. Huh. I don't. Virgo. We are more alike than I'd like to admit. You fucking wish. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, Virgo. That's my experience with Virgo men is not that great. So I'm just yeah. <laughs> Libra. I don't need your approval. On what? Who cares? Scorpio. I need to focus on my healing. Yes, you do. Scorpion babies. Healing. Sagittarius. 
Your body language says so much. <laughs> That's my body language. <laughs> I ain't gonna hide it. Fuck that. Uh, Capricorn. Atali. Atali. Now, whether you accept the apology or not, it's completely up to you. Aquarius. I'm happy that it's over. Aww. I know, but it's okay. Pisces, I hope you're happy. Yeah. And you to everyone else. In that moment, I did not care. I still don't care. <laughs> I care, but only because I'm still healing from all the crap you put me through. But Scorpio, you sexy baby. Somebody else is coming in and they want they they want a chance with you. And I think I think it would be worth giving them a chance. Because they sexy. And they got money. And well, money don't buy happiness, that's for sure. I already been there, done that. Uh but I do feel like between the two of you you can have a beautiful life if you take your time. I don't think you want to sleep with this person yet. I think you're holding that energy back. Transformation. That's why. is because you're going through a very, very deep transformation and ascension. You are leveling up, babies. Leveling up. Let's get the... I can't believe those came out together. That's awesome. So that's the Phoenix Rising and basically the Ascension Code. So let's see what they say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read both of them. Because that, that's just it. Look. And we got the star. And you not being bothered by shit that's around you. In fact, you're revolting against all of it. The crone of ascension is Taurus. The radiant crone of earth represents the ascension of the body. Her very cells transmuted to light. She is the warrior goddess aligned with the passionate earth, breaking old stories and shifting behaviors. She brings opportunities of new consciousness, heart, mind, and body. She shifts the DNA through her transformative power. The earth crone brings you the power of change and ascension while still embodied. She is here to assist you in letting go of the old in yourself so that the identity that you have held dear can be released and transmuted into new DNA and new form. Welcome this shift and let your world ascend into higher integration and healing. I love it. Love that for you, Scorpio. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You love it, I love it, I love it. Where's the chance? Yeah, I use this book a lot, so all the pages are falling out. Well, actually, this is like one of my faves. This is like one of my total faves. And here's that Leo energy that we are in now. The crone of fire is the phoenix rising from her own ashes. Reborn through the fire of transmutation. She's ascended form and new creation on earth. The goddess of transformation brings her creative force to you to release an old form in yourself so that you may ascend fully into the new way of being. The phoenix crone embodies the transmutation that transforms every aspect of your former self into a new frequency and reality. Let her initiate you into this great life change by releasing your attachments to all that served you yesterday. That you may be purified, electrified, and transmuted now. This metamorphosis brings you in your enlightenment and is 
creation restored. Woohoo! Love that. Love that ending. I just love that ending for you, Scorpio. You are transmuting all of this old, worn out negativity and, and bullshit energy and turning into a whole different being. Your DNA is being upgraded and you are on fire, babies. I love it. I absolutely love this reading for you. Please uh, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys tonight at 7 at the live. Um, we're just going to talk about this full moon. <laughs> I don't know what anybody else went through, but I hid. So I, I went to a party, but it was boring. And I didn't drink, or and the food was terrible. <laughs> it was a cosplay party. You can see the pictures on on my social media. It was fun. I went as the queen of motherfucking swords. <laughs> I even took a, a big old knife with me. <laughs> it was fun. I had a good time. I mean, I did have a good time, but I was I was home by 10.30. I didn't drink anything because I knew I had to work today. I've got a bunch of appointments that had to reschedule from last week's uh, special. And I let them. You know, I'm cool like that. Anyway, guys, I love you very much. And I will see you tonight. Till then, take care.